Welcome back everybody, my name is Ultimar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Pillars of Eternity. Sorry I haven't made as many videos as I normally do lately. I am, uh, it's been a rough couple days at my house, so hopefully things will get better. I guess I'll find out soon. But anyways, you're not here to hear life stories, you're here to see some awesome gameplay. Let's go find out what's going on. We're here with House Dominell, of course, and our kitty cat, Sir Fluffykins, the Great. We have to go to the upper floor, apparently. Oops. I have knighted Fluffykins, the Great, as a knight now. Oh, there we go. We received word from House from Lord Dominell that you would be attending Eltamar. The balcony has been opened for you. Alrighty then, let's do this thing. Duke Avar Wolfgrim. The room below is animated amidst a heated debate. All the representative groups are easily discerned within the crowd. Crucible knights, stiff in their nosy arm or noisy armor, sorry, sit in one section. In another are well dressed members of House Dominel, casual, watching with a predator's interest. Still elsewhere are the ramshackle dozens, who have made no special effort to dress up for their liege lord. Interspersed are animancers in their academics robes, with expressions either sour or concerned. Well then. Answer me this, Master Barash. If you Animancers represent our best hope to cure the legacy, what progress can you demonstrate? At the back of the chamber sits the Duke, sprawled in his throne, worn down, but alert and feisty nonetheless. As I've said, it isn't about progress, it's about potential. My house would agree, Your Grace. We see great potential in its future. And I suppose your blazing profits during the legacy don't have nothing to do with that, do they, Dominell? You can't have it both ways no more! Animancy goes, or this country goes! So you admit, Master Barask, that Animancy is no closer to stopping the legacy than it ever was. No, we've had many promising experiments. Cadman Azo has shown- Cadman Azo murdered a child! For a complete failure! We should be hanging him right now for what he done! The dozens won't stand for it. There is no need. Master Azo recently passed the shroud, and while the experiment failed, his work His work was sabotaged. Ah, our new delegate from House Dominell. What makes you say sabotage? All at once the attendees turn their faces towards you, a mismatch of judgment and incredulity. Only the Duke, a wild looking man with a scraggly beard, seems unfazed by your interruption. I met a false, or a false patience in Brackenberry Sanitarium who had tampered with, or tempered with Azo's machinery. The fuck's that even matter? These are people who would toy with the lives of our children! Indeed. Even assuming there was sabotage, is this Animancer Azo not still accountable here? This is not the Bail Reach incident. This is a responsible scientist who was manipulated. Eloth whispers beneath gritted teeth, how can you call him responsible? You saw the state of the sanitarium. Horseshit! These Animancers can't be trusted! Look at what happened in Heritage Hill! Our supposed protectors from Crucible Keep can't even clean up the messes Animancy leaves! Your Grace, we'd have a much easier time of it if our knights weren't so occupied trying to keep their organization from igniting a revolution on our very doorstep. Heritage Hill is blood on your hands, Justicia! You turn a blind eye and look what happens! I have been to Heritage Hill since the quarantine. Though the knights were unable to control the damage, it was not animancy, but an ancient machine that caused it. You've some strange taste in travels, friend. The height of your tails expands with every breath. Ask around. When I see problems, I take matters into my own hands. I had heard whispers of a new delegate set to attend today's hearing. I was told to expect threats and intimidation. Which is nothing new here, as you can see. Very well. Perhaps you are the sort. Tell us what you saw in Heritage Hill. Tyr Nauneth houses an Anguithan machine that holds dominion over the flow of souls. It was this machine that made the district undead. Do you think that was the machine's purpose, or just a dire side effect? Kana shudders. But then, why would the Anguithans build such a machine at all? Even if it is as you say, we have testimony that a group of Animancers had been spending time there. Surely their tinkering had something to do with this. They followed ambition blindly, taking few precautions and allowing personal feelings to get in the way of solving the problem. No, I'm not going to say that. 
I have no reason, or I have reason to believe that there were others at the tower who might have done this. Animancy has many enemies. You need only look around this room to see it. You're just... you're missing the point! Everywhere there's animancers, there's disaster! We all know what White Wind's legacy's really about. And it ain't about some sparkling saint from Creed Ceres who's mad because he took a stroll down the wrong bridge! <laughs> wrong bridge indeed. It's about a bunch of so-called intellectuals fucking with the natural order while the rest of us gotta suffer for it! Is it, though? Should we not take the time to reach a clear conclusion? I mean, what proof do we have? I agree. My son and daughter are buried beneath the floor of my house. That's how you get ghosts. We don't own no land, so that's where we lay them. My son. My wife let him slip when she was bathing him. Got water in his lungs he couldn't cough up. My daughter. We put her to bed one night, and the next morning she wasn't breathing. This hollowborn thing, it ain't ending. And it ain't ending, because we still let these charlatans play God. There's your proof, you damn copper fucker! Wow, that dude is angry. Enough, Adric. Lady Dominel makes a point. If it's animancy, then why do the other states that permit the practice not suffer the same fate? Who among us can say he truly understands why the legacy has taken hold here? The grieving mother reaches towards your mind with hers. Bring order to the chaos here. I can. The crowd begins to murmur. The sound taking a doubtful character. Right idea, Watcher. Taking this hearing by the curly ones, don't waste your chance. Wideone's legacy is the creation of the leaden key. Cademan and Azo's downfall was their work, as was the tower in Heritage Hill. They want you to do this. They want Animancy to fall. The dull muttering expands into a din of skepticism that fills the hall. I have seen them in the ruins of Ear Glen Fath, operating machines that disrupt and redirect this flow of souls nearing towns like Gilded Vale and Deerford with the legacy as universal. As a watcher, I have heard their dead confess their plot. They are stealing the souls of the unborn. Beasts. Another lunatic at the hearing. Did you remember to lock your sanitarium before you left, Master Varazk? I'm going to say the mean thing. Birth invalids until your womb dries for all I care. The rest of these people will hear the truth. You must know, friend, that the leaden key is a mantle for small-time ruffians and children at play. I'm not saying you're a liar. Not yet. But you'd better start making sense of all this. Help us believe you. I can't be honest. I don't really want to be rational. I can't be diplomatic, because that's not the way I am. I can be deceptive. I guess it could be rational. I think rational is not against my alignment. Although I can't remember at that time. Hmm. Let's say a lord is cuckled by his wife. If he tells her to stop, she'll only want her lover more. But if he spreads a rumor that her lover just visited a brothel and acquired a pox on his loins, she'll end it on her own. I don't see what some rich lord's got to do with any of this. Look, the wife is Deerwood. The lord is the leaden key. The affair is animacy. Get it? You're making less sense now than you was when you started. You done talking yet? You're an idiot. You've made an unexpected case, friend. I'll say that much. It seems we have a new possibility to consider, at the very least. How was it you came to learn all this? I took a personal interest in the matter and tried to learn what I could. Indeed. This land is foreign to you, unless I miss my guess. Your efforts on its behalf are to be commended. But these hearings are about more than Widewind's legacy, even though that is our most pressing concern. Let's say for the moment that I were to take you at your word that our friends in Brackenberry Sanitarium and their peers bear no responsibility for this curse upon my country. I'm curious, what would you do if you were in my position? Hmm. Animancy should be studied in Deerwood. If you don't, someone else will, and they will wield great power over you. Eloth shakes his head. Animancers serve their own ambitions and their own purses. Giving them this power is like setting a child loose in an armory. I do not trust these Animancers, seeking first after gain and glory, but if they can heal our children, I would not hinder them. Very well. That is all I wish to hear. Not just from you, but from everyone. Many days we've been at this, 
It is time we put it to rest. I want to thank the delegations for helping me collect my thoughts. And our new delegate, who, if nothing else, has made this final day a little more interesting. The time has come to choose a direction for the Deerwood. I am ready to make my pronouncement. All right, do it up. Ramir de Barash, representing the interests of Animancers in Deerwood, step forward. Your Grace. What's this? The arguments for and against Animancy are both strong in their own way. I must be careful in my judgment. Forgive me, Your Grace. We will accept no judgment but our own. Bot. What's he doing? No! Avenge the doom! No, no, wait! Stop this at once! Oh, damn. Who is that dude? Whoa, that was not good. I've given you every chance to end this pursuit. Shall I end it for you? Another time. I am already late. Why would you let him get away? What? Why did I pass out? The words shall I end it for you ring in your ears. You find yourself gasping for breath, struggling to keep your own balance. You drop to a knee and watch as Theos hurries out of the building. The world dims around you, the screams and clashing of weapons fading to silence. All that remains are the words. Shall I end it for you? Thaus stands at the pulpit, high above an assembly of robed onlookers, you among them, clustered around a wide, circular pit carved of stone. He addresses a woman, bound backward over a large iron wheel overlooking the great stone maw. Many of the woman's fingers and toes are severed, and the bottoms of her feet are charred black. The skin on one side of her face looks like melted candle wax, black and red and seeping, and the angle of her back suggests her spine in ruins. Yet for all that, her expression betrays little of her anguish. I am already at peace, Grand Inquisitor. Are you? Her eyes are barely open, and her words come between strangled breaths, but they are steady, unbroken. So be it. If you desire no end, you shall have none. I find you guilty of heresy. May the eternal prison bar your soul from passage, for it is beyond redemption. He nods to a hooded attendant who begins untying her from the wheel. You open your eyes to the beam ceiling of the palace's grand entry hall. The clangs of metal striking metal waft in from outside, alongside the cries of the injured as you stagger to your feet. Theos is gone. Durns taps at you at the end of his staff. Get up already! He shakes his head. I don't see how you plan to survive your trial, Watcher, if the very sight of your enemy makes you faint like a priest in a whorehouse. Let us be out of this place before something else goes wrong. Off to one side, you hear the clinking rustle of chainmail, and you look over to see a wounded guard slipping against the wall. He is trying to say something, seemingly directed at you, but at first it is too faint to hear. He gathers his breath and manages to rasp out a few words. Lady Webb, she's the only, she must be told, she'll know what to do, please find her, tell her everything. The guard passes out and slides to the floor, still. And some more people gain levels, I should say. Two more people gain levels, Durance and Aloth. So Durance is going to get another mechanic skill, which is excellent for him. And what else are we going to give him? Interesting. Accuracy. Accuracy of Inspired Flame. Hmm. Nothing particularly awesome that I want there. What about utility spells? What else do we got? Hmm. I can make him a faster runner, but yeah. Let's give him an offensive ability. What's he use? He uses staves, or staves I should say. We can also give him a gun, I guess. Savage attack is pretty nice. Two-handed style. He does use two-handed weapons a lot, so why don't we get that? Two-handed style sounds pretty good. He uses his staff quite a bit. That sounds pretty good for a battle priest. And we'll give him lore, of course. And he gets some new spells. Or a new spell, I should say. Let's give him iron skin. 
And what's Arcane Veil do? Two per rest. Yeah. We can give him that one ability that makes his wand. Is it a utility spell? Maybe not. Damages implementation, I think. Or damages implement, sorry. Three raw damage. Oh, right. It does more damage, but causes damage as he does it. Which isn't great. Bloody Slaughterer. Penetrating shot. Eh. Vulnerable attack. Yeah. What do I want with this guy? Marksman? Makes him hit more often. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we could just grab interrupting blows. It's good against enemy mages, I guess. All right, let's go surf us against the great. Hello. Hello. There's rioting in the streets. That's okay. I'll be fine. I can handle riots. Man, there's a lot of riding. Who are the enemies here? Oh well, not our problem. The Justiciers are killing commoners. We are going to try and get to Lady Web. Hopefully safely. This is insane, there's like a civil war going on here. Wait, what did I fail? What did I fail of task? What was clandestine cargo? How did I fail it? Okay, we're gonna quickly reload the... Oh, we can't reload the others, we've already made it here. Well, we failed whatever task that was. I don't even know what it was. What was this place? Oh, that was the sanitarium. It has been burnt to the ground. Damn. Let's get inside of here and see what's happening with Lady Webb because she is our benefactor. Hopefully she is alive. Otherwise, we don't really have any leads. Oh, this is not looking good already. Ooh. Well, I mean, at least we can loot things now. Everybody's napping, because that's what happens when you take damage, you, you go to sleep, and then you wake up later on. I can do that. That's settled. I can do that. This place has definitely seen better days, and I have a feeling Lady Web is going to be dead. All right, let's go find out. We're going upstairs. I have a feeling Lady Webb is uh, dead, just judging by the amount of bodies around. Like, there's a lot of dead people.
Like a lot. There's some sort of thing happening there. We're gonna find out in short in a couple seconds here. Alright, now we're gonna go into that room. There's some sort of Oh, she's dead. A oh. simple test. Okay. That's settled. Who leveled up? Oh, Kana leveled up. Okay, we'll deal with Kana's level up in a second here. Lady Webb lies still in her bed, an ornate cushion propping her back upright. The blood pooled beneath the gash in her chest is tacky and nearly dry. A shattered glass rests on the floor beneath her dangled hand. You can feel the faint aura of her fading essence as or in your ken. I'm going to reach out for it. You make contact and are immersed in a torrent of sensory input and experience. When it calms, you find yourself in the same room, lying in bed with a glass of brandy in your hand. Through the walls, from the street outside, come the sounds of screams and shattering glass and the cacophony of an angry mob. You take a sip, and it warms your gullet. Across the room, the door opens behind a patient, steady push. Into the room walks Theus, the floorboards creaking beneath deliberate steps. You wait until the last of the brandy is trickled down your throat before you speak. I was a fool. I was oh. a fool to think I could tame these people. You came closer than most. A fine epitaph. No worse than any. You are concentrating, focusing with all your energy. It feels as though you are diving into a stone wall over and over, but it cracks suddenly, unexpectedly, allowing the vaguest wisp of thought to leak through. What's in Twin Elms? Did you pull that from my thoughts? I've had time to practice. Ah. He walks over to a small table and raises a half-empty brandy bottle to eye level. He seems to approve of the selection and begins to reach for an empty glass. I was saving that for someone. Pity. You know this is how it has to be. He replaces the brandy bottle on the table with care before approaching the bedside. He sits on the edge of the bed next to you. His words come freely, absent of all doubt. He draws a long curved knife from his belt, smeared with fresh blood. With his left hand, he gently pins your sternum as he raises the knife in the other, its point dangling above your heart. Prove it. Theos slips the knife between your ribs and pushes it through. Layers of tissue separate with brittle, papery stiffness, and blood wells up around the blade. A pulse of reflex causes you to drop your glass to the floor, and you hear it shatter. With the last of your strength, you take his knife and knife hand in both of yours, a question radiant in your mind. For an instant, to your great surprise, the pathway to his mind is left open to you, unguarded, and the answer comes, simple, cataclysmic, in its reordering of your thoughts. As Lady Webb, you feel as though you have an answer you've searched for all your life, but in your own mind, her understanding lies just beyond your, beyond your reach. You look at Theos, with the wide eyes of someone standing for the first, someone seeing for the first time, and draw your last breath as black, velvety darkness descends over you. Smoke rises above the city walls in billowing plumes that blacken the sky like a storm. Behind the walls, the riots rage on. Known patrons of Anamancy are forced into hiding as looters ransack their estates and make off with their possessions. Anamancers are torn away from their families and dragged from their homes to be stoned to death in the streets. Word had spread immediately that Duke Avar had been assassinated and that an Anamancer was to blame. The city wasted little time in exacting revenge and little effort into evaluating guilt. In the center of it all, Brackenberry Sanitarium burned. And down the lane, Hodred House, the last bastion of stability in the Deerwood, had fallen silent. Now safely outside the city gate, your path points eastward to Twin Elms, where Theos is bound, for reasons that remain mysterious as the Leaden Key itself. Intriguing. Alright, I guess I'm on my way there. <laughs> for yes. some reason still, the recording software, like, I have no idea why, but, for example, if you look, I'm like, I'm scrolled over my character right now, you can see the ring around him blinking, but on my others, like, on my recording, my mouse cursor is way off to the bottom right somehow. Well. No idea why that happens, I cannot figure it out for the life of me. If it bugs you guys, I'm really sorry, but I don't know how to fix that, I 
I legitimately have no clue on how that works, or why it's doing that. As you cross the bridge, a loth draws up beside you. The fires of defiance bay cast a shivering, flickering light across one half of his face. The other is in darkness. Please stop. I need to tell you something. Go ahead. I have not been entirely <clears throat> honest about my motives for traveling with you up to this point. When I finished my training in Adir, I was introduced to an organization. All I knew was that they were opposed to the unchecked spread of Enemancy, and that they could guarantee me postings far away from the Seathwood, my father and his Earl. At that time, it was enough. In the early years, I thought of them as many things. Hooded men, prudent teachers, the leaden key. Their rules were strict, but their guidance was clear. I sincerely believe they wanted to keep Kith from the folly of their own foolish ambitions. I came to the Deerwood a little over a year ago. My orders were to gather information on Animancy in the region. Really? A senior contact met with me every few months to receive my reports and issue new leads. She sent me to Gilded Vale to keep an eye on events surrounding the local lord, but I lost track of her shortly after that. I don't know if she was reassigned, killed, or... Sacrificed the way you saw. At the time you met me, I'd been on my own for a couple of months. And you thought I'd make an easy target. No, that's <clears> not <throat> it, I swear. I needed some kind of direction. And after that scrape of the locals, I was ready to get out of town. But then you mentioned that you'd survive that Beowick. And I thought you might be able to put me back on the Leaden Keys trail. And I was correct in a way. What we found wasn't what I expected. I knew the Leaden Key was trying to stop Animancy, but I didn't realize how far they'd gone. Murder, sabotage, abandoning entire districts to shambling horrors. Now the whole city is up in flames. I'm still not sure about Animancy, but I know I've been following the wrong master. Please, accept my apology and my service. Let me fight with you to stop Theos. Ooh. I don't really trust him now, but I will forgive him a lot. No, I don't want you beside me. As long as you don't forget who's in charge, I'm keeping a close eye on you from now on. Of course. I shall follow your lead. Let's go. Let's level up Kana. And then we'll pretty much call it an end of a video. In the next one, we'll go... Actually, we have 11 lore. We don't really need any more lore. We can use level 5 scrolls already. Well, I guess we can use level 6 scrolls now. Yeah, whatever. We have a new verse that we can use. So this one is... Oh, these are uh, invocations, sorry. So this is... Uh, AoE, Terrify for enemies. Summon three's, three worms. Paralyzes AoE. A bunch of defense stuff. And charm. Let's go with the defense stuff. Probably not going to use it, but whatever. Excellent. Beloved Spear sounds awesome. It heals people. Yes. Alright, I think we're going to end the video here. We are just about half an hour, and we just finished Chapter 2. We are now officially on Chapter 3. So, like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.